Welcome, thanks for joining me. Tonight we're going to do a little plein air. It's called a nocturne. I've chosen a street that I'm pretty well familiar with, and I hope you enjoy this. Thanks for joining me. We got some of the initial washes going and you know it's a lot darker values than I'm used to working with so some of the initial washes are a lot darker than what I'm used to so it's a little little nerve-wracking but um, feeling pretty good about it I think I got a, a fairly decent layout um, hard to tell but that's the street uh, tree tree another front porch couple of telephone poles, a few lights in the background. It's going to be a very dark background with kind of a lighted street and uh, it's coming along okay. I'm, I'm not uh, feeling too bad about it but we'll see where it goes. Right, and keep up with me. Let's see how this turns out. Hey Facebook, coming to you live on a Saturday night. I decided to try my hand at something called a nocturne, which is a nighttime painting. And uh, getting off to a start, it's a little bit loud in here with the traffic going by, but this is the painting I'm working on. And you can kind of see curve in the road, lighted. That's the actual scene that I'm working on. And um, of course a lot of traffic, but that kind of adds to the light and makes it a little more interesting topic. So I think it's coming along pretty good. I'm pretty excited about Warm it. Warm night, humid night. Feels pretty good out here. But getting a little paint on the paper and enjoying the process. And I hope you guys are having a, a blessed and an enjoyable weekend. We all deserve it. All right, making good progress, trying to get some of these shadows in here and figure out my my layout a little bit better I'm seeing where my where my actual pieces are going I'm gonna have to bring this down a little bit it's all good make that Make that bush a little bit smaller. It's all right. Um, laying in some of these darker shadows and working my way up a little bit in the composition. Hmm. <laughs> you know, a big part of this is figuring out what you're going to keep and what you're not going to keep. That's kind of one of the biggest challenges is figuring out what stays, what goes. It is a real challenge, believe it or not. Because you're not going to draw, you're not going to paint everything you see. You're going to, you're going to pick and choose. So I'm looking for my biggest shapes my shapes that stand out the most and then I'm keeping the ones that make the most impact
try to capture this tree trunk right here. It's really humid out here, so the paint's drying really slow and kind of slowing me down a little bit, but that's not all bad. I'm guessing you can hear some of the cars going by. Yeah, it's a pretty busy road. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Put some of those trees in here. So nocturnes turn out to be a whole lot of negative painting. That's what it is. So negative painting is painting around objects, right? So instead of putting in light over dark, which you would do in gouache or oil painting or acrylic painting. In watercolor, you you put dark over light. You're painting backwards to a lot of other things. And it's what a lot of people find somewhat challenging about painting in watercolor is you have to plan out what you're doing and you have to know you know you cannot you cannot kind of feel your way to the piece you gotta you gotta know where the piece is and then work your way to it and it's like chiseling a, a block of a block of marble that's the way I think of it I'm revealing the painting beneath and you know if you take away too much that's it there's no putting it back. And uh, that's why I think um, watercolor is, to me, one of the more interesting um, mediums, or more challenging for sure, because you have to kind of plan what you're doing and. And you have to kind of commit, you know, and, and once you've committed, you, there's a few little tricks out there for bringing it back and doing some things if you need to, but not many for the most part once it's down. The other thing is painting with watercolors a whole lot like, I think of it as staining rather than painting. I'm, I'm staining the paper. And... Uh, so staining is a little different than painting where once it's stained I might be able to lighten it up a little bit you know I might be able to take some back but not all the way it's you're not gonna race it so whatever you put there is gonna stay there and it's gonna be it's like it's gonna leave a mark that's okay I think that's what what it's all about, right? But I am kind of feeling my way along. I don't want to overdo it. I don't want to rush it. I want to get it right. Now, something interesting I can do. This is a little bit of a, I don't know if you call it a trick or not. But so there's a couple of... Oh, look at that. There's a couple of lines coming off of this telephone pole, right? Oh, a little too much. I might be able to darken that in. And they're catching the light. I want to catch that. a little bit make it look a little better so that's what I mean you can do a little lifting especially while it's still wet but once it's dry eh, even then you can do a little lifting it's called scrubbing but scrubbing 
it, it's a challenge all by itself. It damages your paper. As you can see, I'm doing a lot of negative painting. So negative painting is painting in between the spaces, right? I'm painting, I'm painting between the objects I want to outline. I'm painting in the dark. Or a lot of times in oil painting, we just paint in a dark background and then paint light over the top of it. And here, with watercolor, that's not the option. Yeah. All right. So you got a really strong light source. It glows a little bit. This is a lot. One thing a nocturne is, it's all about the values, right? It's all about how dark something is in relation to the thing next to it. So even though I might be painting it dark, when I when I get the rest of the background in it may not look so dark anymore it's all about the values all about what it looks like next to the thing that it's painted next to right So I'm painting in a house with a window that's glowing. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take that down just a bit because it's a little bit smaller than that. It's all about relationships. How dark is this next to this? How dark is that next to that? All right. I'll see. As you can see the sky. Yeah, look at that. The longer I'm out here, the more my eyes adjust, and then the more things are kind of, the values are coming out a little better to me. You can hear the crickets out tonight, can't you? They're singing. You can have
mainly what you hear is the traffic. I'm surprised how loud it is, to be honest with you. I'm like, wow, man. <laughs> So give me some ideas of what do you want to see me paint next, right? What do you like? I know a lot of you are, like the videos, so you want to see more landscapes, you want to see more waterways, you want to see more... I'm thinking about doing some things like old cars, trucks, barns. I'm thinking about doing some of that. shadow side of this bush it's got a lot of different light sources hitting it so it's got some weird shadow patterns and trying to make it look natural and the painting is going to be a little bit of a challenge not too bad I'm sure it's coming out kind of working on you know in watercolor you work from your light to your dark so now I'm working on those middle values and starting to bring those darker values up and in this kind of painting it's it's all about its dark relation to it, its neighbor what is what does the neighbor look like and then however dark whatever the color is next to it that's what changes how dark this is or anything and then okay so there is a medium in the road here I'll lighten this down a little bit Draw this thing in. Not where I wanted it. Sometimes that happens. So our next step is let's see what we can do. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Comes right out. Try it again. <laughs> Doesn't always work like that. But I think I can do a little bit better than that. Let's see. Let's see. This thing, oh, 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 oh. One thing about videotaping, right? You can see my mistakes. It's all right. I'm gonna work it. I'm gonna let that dry a little bit, but. Median is really pretty light out there. That much light on it, so I'm trying to keep the light. There we go. Mm -hmm. There we go. Get you done. Can I get rid of that? Oh, here's another shadow up there, grayer shadow. I'm going to take care of that. And then the median starts down here. 
Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's put some of this darker shadows in over here. I'm kind of held off on working on some of this, but let's see what we can do over here. Oh, 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 oh. I'm going to take that out. Stick my hand in the paint. <laughs> All right, let's go to speed it up. progress and yeah, still a good ways to go I'm not sure if we're gonna get there tonight or not I I'm, don't want to overdo it and kind of liking how this is turning out so I don't want to push it too hard and then screw it all up but it is coming along so I'm painting in a house across the street here and so this is my first plein air nocturne where nocturne means at night and so far I'm pretty happy with it um, it is a warm night so, nothing too horrible to put up with, just traffic noise for the most part. And so now I'm putting in these windows to this house. show its front porch is kind of hard to capture but mm -hmm. not horrible a little while ago I was out here painting and Jennifer came to the door next to me and just stared at me and I I don't know, for some reason I turned to my left and looked and then like total shocker, there's somebody standing there. Scared the bejesus out of me. <laughs> Can't you say hey? <laughs> I'm here behind you. I guess this is a little payback. I know I've scared her over the years. So good little breeze out here, that feels good. Glad that's coming along. Alright. Does that look like windows? I'm trying to capture. So there's some trees in front, and they're casting some shadows from the street light onto the house. And I'm working on capturing that. A little sidewalk out there. Lots and lots of shadows. Night is... You wouldn't think there'd be so many darn shadows at night, but man, let me tell you, they're everywhere. It's like... And the interesting thing is during the day, shadows follow the sun so wherever the sun's at that's where your shadows are at but at night a little bit different at night your shadows are multiple sources multiple places Yeah. So 
this shadow, this light's really ca casting a lot of glare off the top of that house. And I'm trying to capture that. <laughs> Interesting. It's all about the values. the values. <laughs> Get in there. This over here is really dark, so throw this throw some heavy so been looking at different ways to frame my art and there is a option out there to do it without glass and so I've been looking at that and I think I think that's what I'm going to do I found a good way to preserve the painting and mount it like a regular oil painting and I'm very excited about it. I think uh, I think it's going to be really useful. And then I can people can buy my paintings without having to worry about glass. Man, so is the deal the louder your car is? The more badass it is. I guess I used to think that way when I was a kid. <laughs> All right. Bring that shadow down off that roof line a little bit. Hey, good look at that. It's coming together. It's coming together. I got a couple of different lights working out here, and I'm kind of. It'll be real interesting to see what this looks like tomorrow morning. Because <laughs> that'll be the test. The test is, what does this look like when you get up in the morning? Hmm. Well, hard to say. Hard to say. Maybe perfect. I'm hopeful. But... Still learning a lot, so every piece is a learning experience. Not a bad thing, right? All right. All right. Hmm. This should be interesting. We're going to attempt something here and put in this because this is actually really dark. So.
Hmm. Wow. Some of those heavy lines in there. Man, I'm, I'm liking this nocturne stuff. We'll see. Tomorrow morning, I might be like, oh god, what did I do? But at the moment, kind of liking it. Looking good. Hmm. Man, I'll tell you, there's just like. The shadows are everywhere. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> All right, let's speed back up again. You don't have to watch everything. We're getting close, though. We're getting close. So we're wrapping it up here tonight. This is uh, pretty much where I'm going to call it quits. Not, it, I think it was a huge success. I, it's hard to get a good picture of it at night. Um, so we'll take a look at it tomorrow morning and see what it looks like, see if it needs any adjustments. I'm sure there's going to be one or two here and there. But overall, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with the street scene. And um, I think it came out pretty nice. Hopefully you've enjoyed this little journey we had together and I'm hoping you join me for more of these because I will be doing more and uh, love to hear your thoughts give me some feedback tell me what you might want to see in the future I'm kind of really enjoying doing my neighborhood and you know kind of getting outside and enjoying the last little bit of summer in this incredibly challenging year so hopefully all of you are too. Thanks for coming along. All right, so next morning, and uh, I'm really, really happy with the results I got here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean up a couple areas and uh, kind of bring some of the highlights back in. There's a few little areas that we gotta do a little scrubbing, a little lifting, and pick up a little bit of what was put down, which is not bad. And um, we're going to put a couple of highlights in. And that should wrap it up, right? So overall, uh, I think it was a really successful first nocturne. Really happy with it. Um, got a few lessons learned that I'll probably try to avoid next time, but overall, I, uh, I'm really happy with how this turned out.